Young Jerks. Only on WEMFradio.com. Well, actually, you can also find us uh, through other applications, though, on, you know, EMF Radio still, like TuneIn app. Yep. And, and uh, Showcast. Showcast and we're on. All kinds of places. Yeah. Just Google us. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Daily Motion after That's the right. fact. Our Facebook page. All through EMF Radio, of course. That's where we're at. We're in the studio. Cambridge, Massachusetts. We are the Young Jerks every Saturday, 6 p.m. And now... We're going to get into, uh, well, Charlie Baker didn't call in the new governor of Massachusetts. He's ducking us. We'll talk to him next week, probably. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that until he gets with it. Like some other politicians have gotten with it in mass and do call in and do come on the show, but he's not there yet. No, we'll get him there. No, we we're just going to work there. on him a little, you yeah. know. But instead, we're going to switch over, like we said, and we're going to go to um, the people who are actually doing something on marijuana in Massachusetts. And in Maine and nationally in other states like Colorado and Alaska, we've seen them uh, lead the campaign for it. And in Massachusetts in the past with Decrim, they, they put this question on the ballot. It's uh, this person works for an organization that we're speaking about the organization, but he's also done a lot of work up in New Hampshire and in other states. And he's known locally and nationally and from New Hampshire and a good activist, someone I know um, from Boston Freedom Rally, seeing him down there and doing good work with, uh, you know, representing, supporting like Free State Project and other New Hampshire nice. marijuana reform activities. Nice. And I think a lot of people probably know who he is from the, at this point, but he works with Marijuana Policy Project. I believe he's the New England um, policy director, something to that effect. His name is Matt Simon. Hello, Matt. Hey, Mike. Do we Great get to be here, man. Did we get your title right? Uh, it's New England political director. But yeah, awfully close. Even better. I like that. Uh, political director. That's like what we wear, like political. Aren't we, Frankie? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I, I think, only wish it meant that I got to actually direct the politics of all the states that I'm working <laughs> in. You know? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I think you're working on that, though. You've done some things yep. in New Hampshire and... Help steer the course, you know, from both sides, because I know it comes up where the activists get mad at you sometimes, and the uh, politicians do as well, right? Have you been on hey, both sides of it? We're making just tremendous progress, and, and it's it's just really exciting. You know, I've been working on this issue for about seven years. When we started out, uh, the national poll was 36% support of Americans, you know, think marijuana should be legal. And now we're up in the mid fifties. All the polls show in the mid fifties, and it's it's. We've seen now four states plus DC have voted to make marijuana legal for adults. We see other hey, states yeah. wanting to do it. It's yeah. just amazing. It's, it is. It's, it's, I have an amazing job. It's it's just a blessing to be able to wake up and and do this every day and try to help you know advance these efforts. How quickly can we get this done in all of these states, and how 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 good of policies can we make, and how you know we just need to end this prohibition and 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 do better, and I think that's what we're seeing. Speaking of that, with MPP coming to Massachusetts and into Maine, it looks like hopefully from from what I've been reading and you know expecting, um, there's a lot going on in Massachusetts with uh, the two different groups, the the uh, Tax, uh, the tax and regulate, tax and regulate. PPQs mm-hmm. that were backed by the uh, drug forest, uh, drug forum policy in Massachusetts, DP FMA. Too many acronyms. I know it's five. Hard to remember. Five letters in an acronym is uh, at least two or three too many. <laughs> it should be CIA. <laughs> exactly. At least the CIA the got it right with three, a three, three letter. So five is too many. But that group yeah. ran, and they got like you know huge support. And then there was the Bay State Repeal Group. That wanted to, to uh, treat it like tomatoes and produce. Thought it was a little wacky, some of the terming, uh, when you're going to call it produce and then card 21 plus. It seems like it doesn't make sense to a lot of people in some respects. But both of them passed on, in, in overwhelming numbers. And I think there's a big fight, you know, almost a potential rift in the movement between people who are reformer, like uh, and people who are looking at tax and regulate, and people who are looking at total repeal of prohibition where does mpp stand i know that they're pushing tax and regulate i'm assuming you guys are going for tax and regulate how is it going to happen in massachusetts how are you going to uh bridge the divide here number one and number two if you do go tax and regulate how many plants are you going to allow like what what is going to be the cutoff what are, what are you guys thinking right now 
Well, first of all, I think it's amazing that we've gotten to this point where we're no longer debating whether or not marijuana should be legal. You know, we've gotten over that bridge, and now here we are in this discussion of how should it be legal, how much should people be able to grow, under what circumstances should it be regulated, how much should it be taxed, et cetera. You know, so our approach has been, you know, obviously we were the, the authors and architects of Colorado's Amendment 64, which we think has just been a, a tremendous success. Uh, you know, people are able to grow their own plants out in Colorado, they're plenty of stores, we're seeing prices start to go down. Uh, it's, you know, it's probably not a perfect model and it will be improved over time, but we think that's, you know, a clear example of, of success. And, uh, you know, honestly, with Massachusetts, uh, you, first of all, with the PPQs, uh, really exciting to see the results that in 14 districts that voters vote yes on, on these questions, regardless of how they're worded. Um, so kudos to both of the groups that, that work to get get these questions qualified. And, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's great, man. It it's great to see that. You know, uh, I should clarify before I go any further, my job is pretty specifically to work on legislation and with state legislatures. So I spend nearly all of my time working with the New Hampshire legislature and with, uh, you know, on – the medical marijuana issue, which we're still trying to get implementation through our Department of Health and Human Services, and I'm trying to get a decrim bill passed next year because New Hampshire still somehow hasn't decriminalized possession, only state left in New England. So that's a very high priority for me. And also, uh, you know, we've, we've passed legalization through the New Hampshire House back in January. So that was an amazing, amazing wow. thing that that happened, but uh, obviously didn't didn't proceed from there. Um, Vermont is also very exciting. I've been spending a lot of time in Vermont. The governor there has said he supports legalization. It's a question of when. Uh, they, they they're doing a detailed study of what they think the marijuana market looks like in Vermont and what their various options are for for regulating it and you know what the what the rules should be. So we're going to see a really robust debate. In Vermont next year, in the legislature, I think, and I think Rhode Island is another state that that you know we kind of have a big question: Will it be Vermont or will it be Rhode Island uh, that is the first state to do this legislature through a legislature? So these are the questions that are on my mind every day. And uh, Massachusetts, um, you know, we're going to have about you know we're going to support a ballot initiative in, in November 2016, and. I don't know <laughs> what my role will be in that process uh, at this point, if any. Um, you know, it's it's we have people who specialize in ballot initiatives. I've been an MPP over three years. I've never worked on a ballot initiative myself. I I work with legislators. But having said all of that, that's all. You know, I, I I you know do feel strongly that 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 MPP is going to do what I think it always does, which is to have a collaborative. You know, process. We want local input. We want people to be, you know, satisfied with the policy that we make. Uh, I'm really proud. I think of the decrim bill or the decrim I, initiative yeah. that we I worked on. Too. How'd that work you know, out? How'd that work out, Mike? Well, I think it's great. We're gonna I, I think yeah. I wanted that decrim. I know um, when they were contemplating it, they actually thought about doing medical for us. I was one of the people telling them do decrim because it will make all the world a difference with what you guys are proposing. And I love the decrim. Um, the medical has been more problematic, as we've seen. Um, there's no access. That's a big problem in Massachusetts right, right now. And that's where I think, I, you know, i got to say it. If anyone from MPP is listening, look, you know, we know we're not going to get what a lot of us want. No taxation. No, you know, we, we're, we're not. I, I, I was criticizing Bay State Repeal in some respects, and I love those guys. I love a lot of them. And I commend them for what they've done, all of them. All of them. Every single person that collected signatures, I commend you. But at the same time, I want to get realistic about this, and, and I want sure make sure that MPP knows we want more, more than six plants. We want to make sure that people aren't getting thrown in jail. And I, and I always say, why don't we look at, like, 49 plants? Because the feds won't throw you in jail on, if it's over, uh, under 50 plants in most cases. And it protects everyone, and if you're not selling it, if you're not dealing it and it's non -per it's just personal use, why can't we up the limits a little more? Because I don't want to see anyone go go to jail, and that's what this is really about. And I think the people of Massachusetts are more than ready. 
We are so ready. We are the number one. We are the number one place for voting on this subject right now. I'm convinced of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident as well. I mean, 2016 shapes up very well in, in so many ways. The polls have been encouraging. The PPQs are super encouraging. Um, you know, as for the, the specific questions, I, I appreciate that input, Mike. I'll, I'll write it down, and that's basically what I'm doing at this point is trying to collect what, what what all the suggestions I'm hearing, even though it's not really one of my one of my priorities. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Sure. Uh, to the extent I am involved, you know, my phone rings sometimes and if it's somebody from Massachusetts, I want to hear what they have to say generally. But uh you know it's I I when I talk to my colleagues about this, they say we're in the you know, they were in the middle of Alaska, they were in the middle of, you know, helping out with Oregon sure. and, and gathering in his signatures for Nevada. I mean, you know, people might think we have a staff of 100 people. <laughs> no, I understand. Like, doing I do. all this stuff three to five years in advance. And, you I know, understand. The, That's why, you know. Where we are with Massachusetts, I've been told, is that in March, somewhere around March, we will get started seriously with signature gathering and with actually writing. Perfect. You know, this initiative. And Excellent. Until then, they're not going to be able to answer a lot of specific questions about what we're going to do. But you know, I'm trying to collect that input, and I want to, I want to see it be a good initiative. I, you know, the the question I've been thinking about this a lot. You know, uh, re, you know, when we say regulate marijuana like alcohol, I think when I say that, what, what I mean is a very general concept. Uh, you know, we've had marijuana in the category of hard drugs, and we need to move it out of that general category and into the category of something that's legal for adults to use <laughs> and to buy somewhere. And that's what treating it like alcohol means to me. Now, we're never going to regulate a plant exactly like we, we regulate a beverage, but, you know, to me it's a very general concept. And so I don't think, you know, that... People are quite ready for treating it just like tomatoes, and that if we were to put that on on the ballot, we would we would see significant opposition, and the opposition would have uh, some probably tougher to beat arguments. You know, the, we, we we might see something there. I think it's different to vote on a PPQ than it is to vote on oh, a def- policy. Oh, definitely. The law there's no state. doubt. There's so. no doubt about it. And the numbers proved it out too. It seems like tax and regulate, even though it was more the, the, the those districts were more. Uh, um, you know, interested probably in supporting a marijuana type question, the ones that uh, Drug Policy Forum chose, and but those numbers mm-hmm. were so much higher. Um, both both did really well, um, but you know, really, I think it's going to come down to a tax and regulate. And I just question yeah. how many plants will we be able to grow? Because I really think that's where the gray line. And I also think that that's an issue in Massachusetts that's going to force the government to actually open stores like this government in Massachusetts has been proven over and over again with this medical that they'll just drag their feet on opening dispensaries because there's no competition. (laughs) People can't grow for themselves. So therefore there's no issue. They're just going to take their time. They'll give it to four or five big companies if they ever get through, if they ever have the political will to actually get these guys open. It's, you know, in Massachusetts, we have so much bureaucracy. Things are so slow. Things are so parochial. Even though we're very liberal, we're very technocratic, and it takes forever to get anything done. I know. And we know, need Mike. to have it on the ground. We really do. We need real freedom. I know. And that's why Steve Epstein and that crew is right in a lot of respects. Like, I, even though I'm kind of, you know, I'm the one who probably gave him the biggest jab on the show today about Bay State Repeal. But, that you know, I, I, I just hope that... Uh, I hope we all can come together. I want to be friends with everybody on this. I think we all have worked hard on it. Every single side of it. We've all wanted this. We want to see for real freedom. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I got love MPP for being back in Massachusetts and going to make this happen. Cause this is a dream come true for a lot of us. Yeah. 2016 should just be an amazing November. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> the stars are aligning for, for that, that day to be, you know, certainly the most interesting day uh, in, in the in the history of marijuana policy reform. There are likely to be a lot of questions on a lot of ballots. I was just going to ask, how many states to to go legal on November fourth in twenty sixteen? Oh golly, I forget the latest number. Honestly, thirteen. Uh, you know, looking at. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm. You know, I we we did come out with with an estimate, but I think it, it you know. 
there are others that are in play that that we're not we're not sure about, and I forget what the number is. Frankly, it's not not something that's <laughs> fresh in my mind. But four down and 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 forties to go. That's that's what I can tell you. 